Hi guys, Lacey Philippich here from Money School for day 21 of the 30 days 30 tips challenge. Today I want to share with you a tip about rental properties. If you own a rental property, this is for you. Please don't spend too much capital improving it. <laughs> there are very low odds that you will get your money back when you do major works on your property, purely because people buy for the bones, the structure, the land. And if you go putting in a $20,000 kitchen, odds are you might get the 20 grand back, but you might not. You're probably not going to add 30 or 40 grand to the property unless you do major changes to it and that's hundreds of thousands of investment often in most cases, certainly when you take your time into consideration. So I know how tempting it is. I've got rental properties and I often think, oh, what if I did this with the shower or if I overdid the bathroom or if I went and redid the kitchen, how much more rent would I get? Now, I did a major overhaul of one property back in 2010. Uh, on the advice of my real estate agent saying, well, if you, would, if you did this, you'd go from $300 to $350 a week rent if we did the bathroom and if we did the tiling of the floors and did some painting. So I took three weeks off and went over there and helped manage a renovation. We replaced the bathroom. We did the floors. I painted. Uh, it cost about $13,000 plus my time. That, vacant, that uh, property stayed vacant for the next three months because we just missed a window. It's a student location and uh, unfortunately I had missed it by a couple of weeks and so I had three months of vacancy and I ended up renting it out for $300 a week. <laughs> now, when I sell, I probably won't make that 13 grand, I might make that 13 grand back, but I probably won't go above that. It's not a great use of your capital to go investing lots of money in good uh, in real estate improvements if it's an investment property. It's a bit different if you're gonna live in something and flip it. But uh, my advice would be not to spend your time and energy there to try and buy rental properties that are ready to rent or just need cosmetic changes, things like paint, things like new carpet, things like uh, new cupboard doors, that kind of stuff, um, maybe even some new lights or installing fans, things that will actually make it look nicer but don't cost you a bomb. <laughs> Those are much better uses of your money if you're going to do investment property. So that's my tip today, don't overinvest. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for day 22. Bye.